Announcements, announcements, announcements. Hey, okay, everybody. Attention, everybody. Attention, everyone. Attention, everyone. Hello. Okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah, uh, attention, please. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Everybody, may I have your attention, please? Everyone, may I have your attention? Hey, everybody, may I have your attention, please? Announcements, announcements, announcements. Hi, everyone. My name is Neil Belanger, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Indigenous Disability Canada and the British Columbia Aboriginal Network on Disability Society. I would just like to acknowledge that I'm calling in from the traditional territories of the Esquimalt and Songhees Nations, and also to acknowledge each of the territories that you are calling in from today as well. Our organization is a national Indigenous disability organization, and our mission is to advance the unique disability and health priorities of Indigenous peoples living with disabilities through collaboration, consultation, and the delivery of comprehensive client services. And through those collaborations, we were lucky enough to connect with Live, Work, Play uh, over the last couple months, uh, particularly during Indigenous Disability Awareness Month, to meet with the board of directors, talk about strategic directions, how we as organizations can work better together, and how together we can make a more inclusive Canada for all. We also uh, were able to work together and having Live, Work, Play be instrumental in having the proclamation declared by the City of Ottawa officially recognizing Indigenous Disability Awareness Month. So I'm very pleased to give this brief introduction. Take care. Hello, my name is Jennifer Harris, and it is my pleasure to represent Live Work Play with our annual commemoration of the United Nations International Day of Persons with Disability, which takes place every year on December 3rd. This year's IDPD theme is Leadership and Participation of Persons with Disabilities Towards an Inclusive, Accessible, and Sustainable post-COVID-19 world. Disability inclusion is an essential component of human rights, sustainable development, and global peace and security. It is also central to the promise of the United Nations 2030 of Agenda for Sustainable Development, which aims to leave no one behind. The commitment to realizing the rights of persons with disabilities is not only a matter of justice, it is an investment in a healthy future for all. The global crisis of COVID-19 has deepened pre-existing inequalities, exposing the in intent of exclusion and highlighting the work that disability inclusion is imperative. People with disabilities, one billion people across the planet, are one of the most excluded groups and among the hardest hit in this pandemic crisis with a tragically disappropriate share of COVID-19 fatalities. Even under normal circumstances, persons with disabilities are less likely to access healthcare, education, or employment are less likely to participate in the community. A more inclusive approach is required to ensure that persons with disabilities are not left behind. In an abundant country like Canada, marginalization experienced by people with disabilities is simply inexcusable. In particular, and directly relevant to the mission, vision, and values of the liberal play community, people with intellectual disabilities and autistic persons continue to suffer from over-institutionalization, poverty, and unemployment as rates that are more than double those experienced with Canadians with disabilities as a whole. I am here to tell you on behalf of Liberal Play that we will be relentless in our advocacy and our work with others to bring about positive change. In conclusion, when you are out in your community, and advocating in your own way, and family members, volunteers, employers, friends, or teammates. Remind those who are unclear about the benefit of supporting persons with disabilities that in 
affordable housing, health care, and fair wages are not disability issues. They are human issues. They impact the lives of every Canadian. Hi everyone. On December 5th, we celebrated International Volunteer Day. The United Nations reminds us that when all citizens are encouraged to get involved in solving problems, we get better and lasting solutions. Volunteers engage communities and support people-centric movements for change, helping build a better and safer future for all. At Liver Play, we know that it's all about the relationships, and that's what we recognized for International Volunteer Day 2021. We celebrated our volunteer team, we celebrated our members who also volunteer in their community, and most of all, we celebrated the relationships that our volunteers and members have built together. Thank you volunteers for all that you do. Hello, it's me again, Jennifer Harris. On behalf of the Liberal Play Director of Communications, it is my pleasure to announce the creation of the CAR, the Council for Advocacy Leadership at Live Workplace. The CAR has been developed as an advisory to the Director of Communication, who is responsible and accountable for both internal and public messaging about our work and our mission, values, and vision. The creation of the CAR is inspired in part by live work play experience as members of Community Living Ontario. And there are more than 100 member organizations, mem many of whom have an advisory that typically seeks to include the voices of people with intellectual disability who are served by their organization. The live work play approach will differ slightly for the design of advocacy councils in other organizations. The call will have voices of persons with intellectual disabilities and artistic persons as the core membership, but we are also looking to include other voices such as members of our volunteer team, family members, and others who are passionate about our work and can bring a helpful the perspective to our discussions. Keenan and I have talked about the importance of making sure that the meetings are welcoming with a casual atmosphere, even if some of the, the topics will be quite serious. The call is not being an expert. It is about the sharing of lived experience to help ensure that live will play public advocacy and communications are informed by diverse perspectives. There will be more information about the call and Keenan is thinking about hosting their first meeting in January. If you are interested, just let them know. Hi everyone. <laughs> wanted to let you know that I'm in the hospital and uh, just wanted to say that I'm getting better slowly and just letting you know I broke my fever and my my whole leg so now I'm on physio. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Ho ho ho.